it's been a hectic few weeks. Um, we're just back from New York. Um, we got a one point w uh, win over there. Uh, a couple of weeks previous to that, we had a semi final against Kerry in the league, which was disappointing. Uh, we thought we'd be more competitive in that game. I suppose realistically, it was over at half time. But uh, for us, we had just come up from Division Two. Um, it's been a positive league campaign overall. We've had some very good displays, some some quite poor displays, but uh, ultimately we. Stayed in Division 1 and uh, I suppose we were probably favourites for relegation so that was one of our main aims to stay in Division 1 and we're, we're delighted that we've achieved that. We're in a good place, um, you know, throughout the league we had some difficult performances, difficult results, uh, things didn't go the way we wanted to, we've definitely had better league campaigns but we're developing, we're, we're 18 months into our development under this new management team and you know, you get that extra kick coming into championships. We came back from New York and we had a round of club championships, so we are just back at training. It's a short window to get ready for that game. Um, and it's going to be a very tough game against uh, Leitrim down in Carrick. Everyone knows you don't get anything easy down in Carrick, and especially with Scam and Don. So it's going to be very tough. Uh, the strong side, Kevin Conlon, Donny Wren, Emlyn Mullins, Mulligan's back with them this year. So there's some very good players and... Uh, uh, we'll have to put in a very big, a good performance and an improved performance on our last couple of showings uh, if we're to get a win down there. They're the, the golden boys at the moment, I think, of the media and, and, and rightly so. They've done a, a massive amount of work for the game in Connacht, I would say, as well. Um, they've been working hard over the years to develop their younger teams and that's really come to fruition now and we would have great respect for them doing that. Um, they have some really, really talented players and some of them who I know quite well. So, uh, yeah, it's a massive test for us. Uh, you're looking at that golf in class from Division 1 to Division 4. Obviously, a lot of people will be looking at that and saying, how can it happen? But New York showed on any given day you can compete with the best if you get if you get yourself in the best um, shape you can and mentally and physically. And we think we're heading that direction. But we'll just welcome them to town. We'll, we'll hope to give them as good a game as we can give them and see where it leaves us. But just as long as we're competing everywhere we can. We have a young, energetic team, uh, quite skillful. We've shown at times this year. Um, and I suppose on the other side of that, we've shown that a young side where we can be inexperienced at times as well, which probably showed in New York and a couple of the league games when Mayo and Dublin better and maybe in Crow Park as well. So um, I suppose we've mixed the good with the bad this year. It's a matter of trying to get a small bit more consistency into our performances. And if we can do that, we, we'll uh, hopefully do well. We're young. Uh, we're hungry. The guys that have come in want to be there. They, they want to wear the Leitrim jersey and they want to be successful in the Leitrim jersey. So uh, having that kind of youth coming in with a kind of, uh, you know, I wouldn't say they're cocky, but with that little bit of cockiness around them and a bit of confidence that we've needed for years and we haven't really been injected with it. So that's what I would say we possess at the moment. We possess a no-fear attitude. Um, we're all in, one in, all in. And uh, these guys have really, really bought into what we're doing. They've been with Shane for a couple of years now before I was even with him. And they really back him. They really love him. They love the management. We do too. So it's merged us both together because there was a little bit of golf there for a few years where there was a few of us senior players and you know it was tough to try and bridge the gap but these guys have come in bridge the gap and they've taken it on themselves they're steering the ship themselves and we're just happy to be along with them